the personal privilege? No? Okay, Councillor Carroll, you're on. Uh, speaker, this is just the beginning of my speech. Why is it not? There it goes. I was all set up last night and, and now we're having problems. To the next speaker. Who's the next speaker, Councillor Carroll? Madam Speaker, I think we're. Okay, think let's just go to the next speaker because we're Madam wasting speaker, time. Speaker, I believe we're in business now. Is it working? One button. Rolls before this one. Is that the argument today? Or is the argument about a fundamental logic that you don't like cyclists on the road? Why don't we be honest about that if it is? Now, Councillor Ray has worked this into his equation, and he must be patted on the back for doing that. And it takes work to be able to put this into any equation. To try and get lanes, cycle lanes, in your communities is a hard task. And so, might it be that some other councillors don't want to work as hard? And when they find somebody doing that, they want to hide behind policy and say it's because of the policy, we shouldn't be straying from it. How dare we do that? Get up off your rear ends and do the same thing. And if it isn't about bike lanes, do something else. Take out your own pet project. And don't just sit at City Hall and, and try and change uh, uh, people's minds and, and create uh, 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 scenarios in the back rooms. Spend some time in your communities and change the flavor of your community. Councillor Ray is suggesting to change the flavor of Jarvis, and it will. And then when everybody wants to go down to party on Jarvis, they're going to say, what a wonderful street Jarvis is. What happened here? It's so wonderful. At that point, who will be around to remind everyone that it perhaps, perhaps, it was the local councillor that, that changed uh, the way things are done. Perhaps it's someone who actually stood up and cared for his community and cared for the voices, yes, the voices, that I hear every day. So when Councillor Holiday stands up and says, I don't, I hear voices. I hear voices. <laughs> when Councillor when Councillor Holiday stands up and says, he's in a total you've never seen any, any cyclists. Oh, well, uh, yeah, I do. Uh, and, you know, and, and I think most of us do that are in the West District. And I don't know where that's coming from. Perhaps the cyclists that aren't there get the feeling that the politicians don't want them there, and that's probably why they're not using our streets. I say something different. I say let's make sure that, that we try and get them out there as well. It's not just about the Humber River, as someone pointed out. It's also about encouraging people to use the roads, encouraging them and wanting them to do it, and not saying you're excluded. Because I believe some other policy needs to be changed. Or maybe we should be fixing another road somewhere in Scarborough before we do something like this. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, uh, I'd like to switch to, shall I push the main guys? I'd like to switch to overhead if we can. I hope this works out. Uh, last Thursday, this photograph was taken on Jarvis Street at 8.40 a.m. The, the, uh, the Twitterer, who admittedly was my husband, simply wrote the words, The traffic is insane. <laughs> uh, Madam Speaker, one other uh, note on that, and, and the reason, I, I, I'm sorry to embarrass the Councillor if I have, I'm sorry if it made him leave the room, but I felt, I felt put on the defense of Madam Speaker. Uh, we have a, a newly elected colleague who, who often likes to discuss the fact that uh, 
that we need to be less partisan, that we need to consider the issues, that we need to work with a local councillor when a local councillor has a local issue. And if you go back to the minutes of May 25th, 2009, and I dare say we could go back into the last many years and find similar items like it, here was the vote. Here was the vote on Jarvis Street, streetscape improvements. The yeses were 28. And I'm going to read the roll call with the rest of my time. Ojumari, Busson, Carol, Cho, Davis, DeBearmaker, DiGiorgio, Fillion, Fletcher, Jambroni, Grimes, Suzanne Hall, Adrian Heaps, Councillor Kelly, Councillor Mamaliti, McConnell, Mahevic, Councillor Milchin, Mayor Miller, Councillor Moser, Moscow, Nunziata, Palazzo, Pantaloni, Perks, Perutza, Ray, and Vaughn. Madam Speaker, uh, uh, in those times, and in times before them, many years, uh, we weighed the issues. That is the beauty of municipal government. That is what I love about municipal government. And that is the way we could function in this room on this item and many like it. If we chose to, we can choose to today. No, I'm finished, Madam okay, Speaker. Okay, well, thank you. Thank you. Um, if you can pull the, up this, uh, the slide, please.